you know, every good rally team needs a good hammer. But when we're talking about suspension and unsprung weight and that sort of thing, this is a good visual to keep in mind. If you think of the head of the hammer, the heavy part, that's your wheel and tire and brake and everything like that. And then basically the, the, the arm of the hammer, that's your suspension linkage. So, you know, if we're driving a rally car down a rough road or whatnot, this hammer, the weight, the wheel and tire and the brakes and everything like that, that's going to be moving up and down. Now, a McPherson suspension, so that's like the front suspension on basically all the, all the WRXs and STIs. Um, if this is your wheel and tire and all that, the McPherson suspension is holding that hammer right here. So my arm would be the strut, and then it connects to the top of the car here. Why would you want that? Well, because you the, the strut and spring assembly is connected right to where all the action is happening, where the weight is. And so you have direct control, and there's, there's a very linear relationship to the, the spring, spring rate and the valving and everything like that, to controlling the weight of the wheel and tire as it's moving, as it's, as it's trying to soak up the bumps and all that sort of thing. On a McPherson suspension, where it's connected right out, out at the end, right out to the knuckle, the reason that this rigidity matters is because it is a structural member of the suspension. 